maintain your composure at a major final table, considering the massive equity swings that occur with the turn of a card. Every time you've outdrawn me, every single hand. It's even more difficult if you're unaccustomed to playing for high stakes, and probably damn near impossible if it's your first major tournament. That's the situation Jeff Bertez finds himself in tonight. And although he's to be commended for maneuvering himself to the final table in his first high stakes tournament, he definitely hasn't been the picture of composure while at it. Let's break him down. I don't want to look bad on TV, though. Just problems begin when he finds pocket nines in the big blind against Will Fiella three-handed. I went on quite the tirade last season when we witnessed Kia Mohajeri three-bet fold pocket jacks from 35 blinds deep three-handed. It's an absolute catastrophe. So you can imagine how I feel about Jeff's three-bet fold here with nines when holding 19 blinds to start the hand. While watching, I wished I could just lean into Jeff's ear and tell him, So the first rule in maintaining your composure is don't play bad. <laughs> I fold. Rule number two, keep your cool. Next, Jeff faces a raise from Will and re-raise from Ken in the big blind right. before looking down at his card. You trying to teach a lesson here? I think if there was one thing I wouldn't do when peeking down at a massive hand in a situation where I desperately want action, <sighs> is mumble, Jesus, under my breath the moment everyone is paying the most attention to every nuance of my behavior. I'm all in. That's not to say I don't believe Will finds a fold anyway. I fold. But I'm sure that slip made his nice decision thing. easier. Nice bet. How did I not get a caller there? Unreal. What? Rule number three, shut the hell up. In this last hand, Jeff finds himself facing a marginal all-in decision against Will with pocket sixes. Jeff decides to try and get some banter going. You want to chat about it a bit? You want to phone a friend? Is that an option? But I think it's a mistake for a vastly less experienced player to get into a war of words with a professional. The pro will have a much better chance of interpreting the strength of your holding and manipulating you with his words than you will against him. How am I talking myself out of this? Because you know you beat. And there seem like few worse options for a high equity chat than Will Paella. The guy's an old school East Coast grinder. I mean, he's been talking total garbage at the table since before Jeff was born. <laughs> I understand. Making your first final table is an extremely exciting and emotional moment. We can't all be robotic Scandinavians. But if you are fortunate enough to find yourself in that position and facing down a collection of professionals, just remember, silence is golden.